what what do you think why does that happen what are some of the key challenges around online presentations well one of the qualities first of all i'll say i completely agree with you and have observed the same thing in working with executives and, and individual contributors who are having a pivot to online the people who just light up a room when they're face to face fall flat many times when they're presenting virtually. And I think one of the reasons that happens is that they are, uh, they feed off the energy of the audience. They're uh, very oftentimes extroverted, though not exclusively. Uh, the people who perform well in person or on a big stage setting, they know how to take up that space. They know how to work the room. They just bring lots of energy into the environment. And they don't get that same feedback from the audience when they go online. So they can't tell if their jokes are landing. They can't uh, see the audience many times if, if an online audience has their cameras off. And so that feedback loop for a very extroverted presenter or one who's accustomed to interacting with the audience is gone. And that's disorienting. It's frustrating. They, most of them just really hate presenting online because it's, it's like you're a comedian who's just dying on stage. You have no idea uh, if anything is landing. The people who present really well virtually can be people who are equally good on stage, uh, but they have to be comfortable with interacting with the audience in a different way. They have to work a little harder using different techniques to draw the audience in. Polls and questions in the chat and breakout rooms, and it's just, just a very different kind of facilitation. And it does take facilitation skill, which is not the same as presenting. Presenting is standing and delivering. Facilitating is, is holding space and inviting people in. And I, in my opinion, a great virtual presentation has qualities of both.